Eight miles west of Boston, Watertown is having a moment. It's getting pretty busy around here. It's 15 minutes to the city. I think in many ways you can't really go wrong being here and it's only going to get better. Known for its large Armenian population and connection to the marathon bombing, the city now has a major project in the works, Arsenal Yards. We're just creating a destination. It's more than just a place to come shopping. It's more than just a place to get dinner. The old Arsenal Mall is no longer. Arsenal Yards is bringing in a hotel, 300 residences, lab space, a grocery store, a movie theater, fitness boutiques, and so much more. Despite ongoing construction, there are a few retailers and restaurants now open. When you come here, you really don't know what to expect in terms of if there's gonna be a fun event or what type of public art you'll see. Three artists brightened up the space that will soon be home to squeeze biotechnologies. Cambridge has gotten a little too popular. It's really pushed up the pricing and really pushes out the smaller biotechs. And honestly, traffic and accessibility have become a bigger issue too. And Squeeze isn't the only biotech moving into Arsenal Yards. Biotech really thrives when there's this clustering effect. And with 25 plus tenants here now and more on the way, that's starting to take place now. Despite big box stores coming in, Bridget Beckman says the goal isn't to make Watertown feel like Boston. We still have open spaces and green spaces. We have free parking. We have all of the conveniences of the suburbs blended with some of the best restaurants in Boston. Watertown is home to the second largest Armenian population in the country. Many people frequent traditional shops and bakeries in search of a Mediterranean experience. <laughs> Sarkis and Misak Urfalian own Mossy's Bakery on Mount Auburn Street. The bakery and specialty food store is all in the family. My parents opened this business. It was a smaller place, but over the years we've expanded. Now it's four storefronts. Customers come from all over to buy hard to find specialties like the choreg, an Armenian sweet bread. Cheese boreg, a buttery puff pastry filled with cheese. And lamajun, a kind of Armenian pizza, a thin piece of dough typically topped with minced meat, veggies, onions, tomatoes, parsley, and a whole lot of herbs. People are familiar with hummus, chickpea dip, or eggplant dip, but I think coming here, you're getting a product that does not have any preservatives. We make it here just like you make it at home, fresh. Mediterranean fruits add a natural touch of sweetness to many of the cookies and pastries. There's no added sugar here. Things with dates in it, figs in it, apricots, so that makes it very, very interesting. More than 40 years after their doors open, Urfalian says Masi's Bakery wouldn't be here without the support of the Watertown community. The churches are here, the organizations are close by, it's home. Watertown is also home to Damien Enders and Mike DiGregorio. We worked at the same place for a while. We both enjoyed smoking cigar. The two friends decided it was time for a career change and opened Cigar and Lounge, which is exactly what it sounds like. I've worked a lot of jobs in my life and I've never come across an industry that I've run into pretty much everybody under the sun. Doctors, lawyers, to construction workers, to landscapers. While the craft beer industry has been buzzing as of late, Ender says the craft cigar movement has been growing strong for a while. There's always new stuff coming out. We try to keep everybody happy. But that's also the beauty of having the lounge as we sit next to all these cigar smokers and we're hearing a lot of stuff from them and we're sharing a lot of information. So it just allows us to make sure that we have all the right product in here for everybody. Whether grabbing a cigar to go or planning to stay a while, Enders and DiGregorio say they're here to help navigate their walk-in humidor. A lot of people don't understand everything in the cigar world. It's almost like going into select a bottle of wine and in a sea full of wine that you don't really know what you're doing. And while cigars are the main focus of this lounge, DiGregorio and Enders say it's about relaxing and treating yourself. We got plenty of nice comfortable seats and good ventilation, so especially as these cold days are upon us, you can just sit in here nice and warm and enjoy a good cigar. It sounds like a, like a gimmick, but it's, the truth is, is it's, it's almost like a family. Artistic director Michael Bobbitt may be new to the city, but the new repertory theater is celebrating 35 years. 
The Repertory Theatre is one of the region's longest running theatres. We produce plays and musicals of all kinds for the greater Boston area. I really am having a great time. Hours on hours are put into each performance from both the front and back of the house. The process is about a year and a half from selecting the production to finding the artists to put on the show. And then the rehearsal period is about three to four weeks before we open the show for the public. Meet! On this day, New Repertory Theater is in the midst of technical rehearsals for their performance of Oliver. Bobbitt says while the performances are special, the location of the theater is truly what makes this company shine. It's enough away from the city and we have free parking, but the environment is really quite fantastic. So there are artists walking around all the time and we get to soak up all the joy of being artists. That performance of Oliver was back in the fall. As a result of the COVID-19 outbreak, the theater has had to cancel or postpone some spring performances. But New Rep says one way to support the theater is to purchase subscriptions for next season. The Cigar and Lounge is closed temporarily, but Mozzie Bakery says they're open for curbside pickup. Up next, Atari, Nintendo, Sega Genesis. He has them all.